hey what's up what's up so if i was to give this movie out of five i don't know how to look at this because if you enjoy art films you're probably going to give this a four if you're looking for something that is entertaining and something closer to the first movie you're probably going to give this a 2.5 because it's not a perfect movie but i can see what ted phillips and joaquin phoenix are going for and they are going for two things one um i'll discuss the other one later on but number one i think they did what they did with the first film because we remember the first joker nobody thought that they were going to take it in, in that direction no one expected them to take it in that particular direction but they took their own version their own take on the character and did something totally different something that we've quite never seen before they did something very unique with that particular story and you didn't have fans or studio executive or anyone else telling them what to do they just went ahead and made their own thing the same way in a way that they had envisioned it in a way that they wanted it to come out they didn't want it to feel or look like anything else that we've seen and so with this second movie i think they did the same thing they went like oh so this is what the executives want of course the executives so the first movie make a billion dollars and they were like you know what uh, yeah i understand what you guys are saying you want this to be a one time movie but but a billion dollars man don't you think you know a billion dollars come on come on man this works we can do something with this but Todd Phillips and Joaquin Phoenix had said that this was going to be a one time movie so if these people made this original different thing before you don't expect them to make the same thing like the first thing that they made they're obviously going to come in with the same mentality that they had with the first film which is make something that is totally different make a totally different feeling film than the first one and i think that's what they went for with this particular movie now that doesn't mean that it wo- it worked because it definitely did not work for people who are looking something closer to the first film so if joker for la adu was to be given a different title it would be the conviction and trial of arthur i thought that would have been the best description of the the best title for that for this particular movie because it follows joker after the events of the first movie and so he spent a lot of time in akam and then the, the the second half of the movie focuses a lot on the courtroom drama of 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 the show, of the movie now they talked about this being a musical yes it's being a musical and the musical plays a big part in in serving arthur's arc because this movie this movie now let me just talk about something that i think works for it and doesn't work for it you know what they did with the first movie the reason we liked the first movie so much is because we were following a character from a really bad state to growing up and becoming something from a literal zero to actually something yes it it it, it it's something that is far beyond what he expected to be but it's something bigger than he thought that it could actually be based on the situations that people put him into so it's 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 that underdog story of someone beginning from the bottom and rising up to the top violence is involved people die but at the end of the day at the end of that arc the first person that you meet in in the movie is not the same person that you meet at the end of the movie now with this movie i think the producer sat down and thought oh, okay so we have created you ah how where do we take a character like this do we continue with with the trajectory take him absolutely to the end of the world no they went like no 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 since we've constructed him let's deconstruct him and take him back to the basics because it 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 really it literally feels like a reversal of what they had built with the first movie it feels like they went back and now like put him through the ring to actually prove that whoever he thought he was he was actually not and just put him back to where he was now that might be a bit spoilerish but that's what i got from the film and i think that works for it because it's a totally different look at a character but then you the people who watch the first the people who watch the first film feel like that film didn't really serve anything in connection to this film it feels like that film had no re- relevance to whatever happens to him at the end of the day and that goes to the ending which i thought was not satisfying now for an art film that ending works for an art film the idea of exploring some themes about split personalities work very well 
You know, there's a very good animation at the beginning that sets up the movie. But that doesn't justify that ending. Because I thought that ending was uh, totally unexpected. I, I think it's the, they wanted to subvert the story so much that they took the character on a trajectory that does not make sense. You know, that it, it looks like something that they made up at the end of you know, shooting and they went like, where do we want to take these characters? And this now goes into what I was talking about, Todd Phillips actually thinking of where to take this character because it feels like Todd Phillips and Waki Phoenix were tired of executives and fans going like, we want another story. Yet their plan was they needed only one story. And so because of that, they were like, we are going to do this thing to this character so that we can just, you know, you can just stop this because the first movie is perfect and I and I believe also Ted Todd Phillips and Rocky Phoenix I think they looked at the first movie as its own thing its complete thing and we should not we should have not asked for a second movie and so they needed to do something that was going to stop whatever was happening you know and so they did that with the ending of this movie ah spoiler alert yeah spoiler alert if you don't want to know anything about the movie please just just keep for the next five seconds. Just keep for the next five seconds. So, spoiler alert, um, Arthur in this movie gets killed. And I'm like, yes. So I get what you're, what you're trying to do here. You're literally trying to say, we've killed off the character. We don't want to hear anything about this Joker again. Because I think there was a lot of pressure either from the studio or the fans to continue with this character that they had created. And they did not want to do anything more with the character. So I think that's why this story is designed that way. It's designed to look at the, what they had created and totally break him down because with the, the character of Harley Quinn in this movie, Harley Quinn literally brings back the character of Arthur from his fantasy. You know, she's the one, she's like, she's the character who's used to sober up Arthur. She's the character who's used to remind Arthur that there is a concept of fantasy in everything that he is, is in his head. And so that character plays a big role in pulling him back and reminding him of who he was in the beginning of the first film. And that for me was now the bitter part of this movie. I was like, now you just, you, you, you really did not do anything with the arc of this particular character. Now with the cartoon drama, um, how would I put this? This movie actually, for me, got interesting by the second half. Actually, no. It's the, the end of the second act in the courtroom. There's something that happens that forces Arthur to become something. And there are callbacks to some characters that we know, that we love from the first movie. That, we, that was just a pleasant moment. I thought it was a very pleasant moment. I thought it was a heartwarming moment. And I was like, yes, that makes a lot of sense. And from there, up to the end, up to something else major happens and something happens to him and then he meets this person that had been established and that person actually now brings him down to you feel like that person actually did a disservice to the fans and to Joker as the character because they, they, they kind of take him out of the high horses and tell him yo this is what it is this is who you are and I thought that was that moment when you go like damn man we didn't need that. As, as, as a fan of the first movie, I did not need that. But anyway, as I said, if you're into art films, if you're into theater movies, if you're into those movies that love to deconstruct uh, themes, and for example, in this movie specifically is mental health, you're going to enjoy this. If you're just looking for another straight up movie that just takes a character and elevates them in, in a much more interesting way, in a much more interesting dynamic whereby you see a growth of a character rather than a demise of a character, then hmm, this is not the movie for you. I'm not saying that you wait for it on streaming. I highly suggest you go see it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Because there are some aspects about the movie that are actually very good. Because the performances are great. I think I'm, I'm totally... I'm, with my review of Bay, Bay is Afraid and the first Joker movie, I don't know how Waki Phoenix does it because he's very good at it. And the, the, there's a very strong sense of direction. And you can see how the director and Waki Phoenix were able to bring this character to life. Physically, 
emotionally and the way he expresses himself when he is the Joker and when he is Arthur. He does a fantastic job. And also apart from that, I thought Lady Gaga was played a very interesting role. Despite the fact that I felt her character was a disservice to Arthur, but the way she performs is also really, really good. The music, the, the, okay, the musical part of it was not impressive, but it was good enough for the movie. You, and then the cinematography is really cool. It's a very good looking movie. It's, the framing is incredible. The colorist did a fantastic job. So it's a very beautiful experience in the cinemas. It's very well shot. It, it actually matches the first movie, but this one feels much more intentional with the framing. Um, the coloring is lifted from the first movie, so it's actually the same tone and feel. But then it's with the story that you feel the complexity of maybe what the director wanted versus what the studio wanted. And maybe the director going like, we have to complete this in one way or the other. We don't want to find ourselves doing the same thing. So basically my review just tries to summarize this as we did not need this movie. Yeah, the, this Joker story should have ended with the first one. I think those same sentiments were held by the director and Waki Phoenix. If you've seen the Joker, what did you think about it? Did, 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 did it live up to your expectation? Because there are some people that I was with who actually enjoyed it because it went out of the idea of the sensationalization of the Joker character and actually take time to stop and study him as a character and study the concept of mental health and personalities within an individual in one movie. Yeah, so basically that's it. Adios. Let me know what you think.